Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking another look at reusing the Nintendo Switch emulator. This emulator has seen another absolutely enormous update. So if you haven't been watching my videos or coverage of Nintendo Switch emulation for the past month or so, you should be aware that there are currently two Switch emulators, one called Yuzu and one called Ryujinx. The very first 3D rendering game was this one you are seeing right now, One Piece Unlimited World Red. So while this game did run, boot and render 3D in game for the very first time on Ryujinx, it currently at time of making this video also renders basically in the same fashion on Yuzu. The footage you have been watching for the past minute or so was captured using the master build of Ryujinx from only yesterday. If you ever needed a reason to support a development team, let's take a look at some gameplay footage from the main master build from today. And no, your eyes are not deceiving you, they have completely fixed the 3D rendering in One Piece Unlimited World Red. When we take a comparison between yesterday's master build and the build from today, the differences are not even slightly comparable. 3D rendering quality has increased, I would say, probably tenfold in one day of emulator development. So not only are the cutscenes now correctly rendered, but we also have correctly rendered graphics when we go in-game. So aside from the fact that they have fixed the 3D rendering issues which we were previously seeing in all of the last few master builds, they have done so without affecting the performance of the game in a negative way at all. We are still seeing exactly the same performance levels in One Piece Unlimited with these new 3D renderer fixes that we were seeing in the previous build itself. You can see that when we transition into gameplay in the previous build, performance is practically identical and in places a little worse than we are seeing in this latest master build. I'm also going to speed up some game footage here just so I can show you that lots of the gameplay elements are now completely fixed in this title. So when we look up to this rooftop and press X to use Gum Gum Rocket, you can basically see that due to the fact that nothing is correctly rendered, it's nearly impossible to see exactly where you're going to navigate to on the map. Whereas in this latest master build, you can clearly see that everything is rendered correctly and even though performance isn't exactly ideal, it is 1000 times better and much more playable than I have ever seen it on this emulator before. Game saves and practically everything else apart from the remaining render issues are also fully working on this emulator, meaning that in the coming days I am going to be doing a test to see if I can 100% finish this game from start to finish on this Nintendo Switch emulator. If I can do this, this title will become the very first fully completable 3D game on Ryujinx. So if you guys would like to contribute to and help the development of this Nintendo Switch emulator, you can find a link to their Patreon down in the description of this video. Over there, you will be able to pledge and support this emulator, allowing them to continue their fantastic work and make the best possible Nintendo Switch emulator for you and I to use in the future. So once again guys, cheers for checking out this video, remember to like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, if you want to buy me a beer, you can do so by following the donation link down in the description of this video, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.